Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a Slack SD package. This is the default installation from the previous video where we install Slack into the VirtualBox Virtual Machine device SDA, and the total size of installation was 280 megs. We can tell that um, looking into run init ramfs um, data. memory data slacks those are the default sv packages that run install and if we dive into the modules there's absolutely nothing right now so uh, the distro is pretty lean 200 280 megs only so what we like to do is actually demonstrate what happens when we install a package how much impacts the size of the distribution and what happens when you install as a module eventually put into the module. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the exercise of the creating um SD packages app install will let us install. The good thing is allow us install packages easily. The bad thing is like we require a lot more metadata to install. And the ugly thing is like this will impact the slack slack size overall distribution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two virtual box machines. One, I want to boot in regular Slack's persistent month. The other one, I want to boot in Slack's fresh start. I want to execute the same commands, app, install, screen page, run, execute, reboot, and see how much impact the distro. Learn how can actually we do from the fresh start, create an SV package in order to do that. So let's get started. I want to do right click on the clone. I want to go this one. I want to boot this one in persistent month. Persistent and um, full clone is fine. And I also want to do a clone for press start. Full clone. And I have it. I want to start with persistent mode and I go ahead and fire up the machine. So basically what it's gonna do is actually boot, give me the boot menu. I can do this persistent. That's what I want to do, the first option. And this is gonna boot very, very quickly. It's gonna give me the initial setup just like it was in my previous machine, starting X. And uh, the difference here is like, whatever I do is gonna actually keep the changes live. So right here, we see device HDA1, 280 megs. So I can do a screen fetch. It doesn't exist, so I can do up now. Screen fetch. And when I do that, it's going to go ahead and start connecting to the Debian repositories to start downloading all the packages. Everything that is needed is going to do a nice and uh, installation. And I, can do, I can verify that actually Slack is installed in this, in this system. Problem is, if I do a define, now we went to, from 280 megs to 403 megs, just for that little package. And if I do a reboot on this machine and boot again in persistent mode, I'd be surprised that actually the size of my distribution changed for about 120 megs just for that little screen page. It eventually doesn't seem really fair considering that actually Slack is a super minimal disk, and you probably want to keep it like that. I don't want to do file manager. I want to do terminal. Uh, so consistent, the file says the A1, 403 megs. And as you install more packages, more, more size is going to start taking eventually this. So that's the first time uh, that we tried this. Let's try the other mode. Let's actually try the other mode. Let's go press start and select the boot option on that. Press start is going to be the selection for this case. So what I'm going to do is actually, I want to check the size, the initial size of the distribution first. Uh, what I'm going to do later is actually going to go ahead and run the installation. So in this second virtual machine, we can see we're back to 280 megs, which is good. I want to do app style. 
going to do the same thing. It's going to connect to the Debian repository. It's going to download all the required packages for the screen space package. It's going to download and put it ready. The difference that... Um, here we go. The difference that is going to happen right now is now we want to actually do save the changes into a screen fetch SB module. So basically, we want to do save changes into the run init RAM, and that's the command we want to actually execute. So if we look at it, module right here. I can do save changes. Screen fetch SV. It does it real quick. Actually we have a size that is actually 272k. Very very small. So what I want to do is I want to do one more time reboot. And now, give it the same press start. In this case, we do have one more module into the module runtime environment, which is very, very small. And our distribution is still just 281 megs, it just increases one meg of size. And if we look into the run, need RAM memory, data, stacks. We have the same packages for starting the boot in the core, the firmware, XOR, desktop applications, and if we go to modules, we can see we have 272K for the screen fetch. However, the distribution executes. We don't need to put 120 megs to run a screen fetch, which is only 272K. That makes it a lot easier. And you can create a lot more packages like VI, Git, uh, PHP, even XFCE or some other window package managers. Everything that you wanted to do, like uh, is extremely, extremely lean. I can do apt install um, LX terminal. And I do, this is the LXZ terminal, which actually has the menus different than this X term. i sure we want to do all that. And this is just a freebie. I'm just adding a LX terminal right now. i like to see some kind of other packages. Uh, at this point, I can just do um, the changes. I need RAM, data, flags, modules, uh, LX. Terminal that is B. I'm adding another package which is actually the LX terminal. I can reboot it one more time. Now I have two packages into my packages, uh, into my modules folder or runtime. And basically, what it's going to do is one is going to be give me the ability to execute um, screen space, the other one's going to give me the ability to execute LXE terminal without compromising the size. So eventually I can do fine. I'm still 282 megs. If I do now you can see we have LX terminal with its uh, roughly a Mac and the screen fetch. Here on the menu you can see LX terminal has the install. Or I can actually do the just do on the next terminal. There we go. That's how you can create multiple packages for the distribution, everything allocated into the into the path for uh, run init RAM memory data slacks modules, and then you have your multiple SB packages. Hopefully you enjoyed, hope you like it, send a comment, you like it or not, I'd be happy to continue doing these videos. This is a fascinating distribution, thumbs up for Tom, he's doing a great job with the slacks. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you later.